Welcome back. Joining me for the best view of the city is Judy Rogers, the Executive Director of Philadelphia's Parkway Museums District. Judy, thanks for inviting us. It's great to share this incredible vista with you. So Judy, tell us all about the world-class museums and attractions of the Benjamin Franklin Parkway. I'd be delighted. Um, Gail, really, there's no place else where you'll find such a rich concentration of cultural and educational attractions. Uh, from City Hall uh, to Fairmount Waterworks, and then a few blocks north to Eastern State Penitentiary, there's just a huge number of amazing things to see. It's one mile from Love Park to right here on these very famous rocky steps. And in between, there's Logan Square. Now on Logan Square, you'll see the Swan Memorial Fountain, which is gorgeous. And you'll also find the Cathedral Basilica of Saints Peter and Paul, and the Academy of Natural Sciences, the Franklin Institute, the Free Library, the Galleries at Moore, and then a little bit further west, um, closer to where we are, you'll find an abundance of art at the Barnes Foundation, the Rodin Museum and the Philadelphia Museum of Art. There's so much to see and do. There certainly is. I'd like to take you to see our newest parkway attraction. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. Gail, I'd like to introduce you to someone from Parkway's newest cultural attraction. This is Peg Zaminda, Executive Vice President of the Barnes Foundation. Hi, Gail. Pe Welcome. Peg, it is great to meet you. Thank you. The building and the grounds of the Barnes are spectacular. Oh, thank you. We're really proud of it. But if you like what you see on the outside, you're going to love what you see in the inside. The Barnes Foundation is home to one of the world's premier collections of post-impressionist and early modern paintings with artists like Renoir, Cezanne, Matisse, and Picasso well represented in the collection along with old master paintings and American paintings. And I understand that the art is displayed throughout the museum in the same manner that it was with Dr. Barnes. It was actually um, when Barnes was collecting he would experiment with the installation of the works and would move them around the galleries and then once he died the, the work stopped moving. But what Barnes did was really challenge people, visitors and his students, to look at the connections between the various kinds of works that are, that are installed in the galleries. He referred to those installations as ensembles, and they really were very unique for his time, and actually are things that we're seeing other museums now in, in modern practice um, emulating. Following suit, okay. It's really right. interesting. Well, so best of all, I understand that the Barnes is accessible to everyone. It is. Um, our location here on the Parkway has made us so much more accessible to both visitors as well as locals. And it really is a place that doesn't require a degree in art history to come and have a great experience. So we really encourage all visitors and our local residents to come and participate in a program, visit the collection, see a special exhibition. Um, there's a lot of activity here at the Barnes these days. Thank you so much, Peg. You are so welcome. Judy and I will be back in a few. Now let's experience everything the Parkway Museums District has to offer. Sitting majestically at the top of the Benjamin Franklin Parkway is one of the world's premier palaces of art, the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Visit the Impressionist Galleries featuring Cezanne, Degas, Monet, and Van Gogh. Then see the Eakins masterpieces in the American galleries. You can marvel at the Renaissance masterpieces and imposing arms and armors. The Japanese tea house is the ultimate destination among the wondrous arts of Asia. Enjoy a bite in the museum's cafes or fine dining in Granite Hill and discover fun surprises in the museum shop. Then take the trolley across to the Perlman Building. So much to see and do, you'll want to come back to the Philadelphia Museum of Art time and again. Welcome to the Barnes Foundation, Philadelphia's newest must-see destination. Explore the world's greatest collection of post-impressionist and early modern art. 181 Renoir, 69 Cezanne, 59 Matisse, 46 Picasso, plus old master paintings, African sculpture, and so much more. At the Barnes, art is arranged in ensembles using light, line, color, and space to inspire a universal way of seeing. 
founder, Dr. Albert Barnes, believed that art is for everyone. So there's something for art lovers of all ages. Unwind with art and cocktails every Friday from 6 to 9 p.m. And catch live music at the Barnes every first Friday of the month. Award-winning family programs are also available year-round. For a closer look, try a premium tour voted best tour by Philadelphia Magazine. Call 215-278-7000 or visit barnesfoundation.org and download the free app. The Barnes, explore for the art of it. The Franklin Institute Science Museum is a great place to visit because there are so many different things one can do here. I believe that one of the great things about this museum uh, when it comes to families is that almost everything is hands-on. You get to not just see it in action, but you get to actually do it yourself. Uh, for families, we have a wonderful time for uh, families to come and enjoy learning together. We make science fun. I definitely think that people of all ages and certainly people traveling for business can enjoy the exhibits and the things to offer here at the Franklin Institute. Also, seeing uh, an IMAX show or a planetarium, those are always great things to, to check out and uh, are really designed for people of all ages. What makes the Franklin Institute so unique is the fact that we can combine both modern science and technology with historical artifacts about science that gives us an opportunity to make science approachable for people. Currently, right now, we're in Mustard Demonstration Theater. In this room, we have our live science show demonstration. We cover topics from matter to chemistry, machines, nanotechnology, space, and fireworks. Right now, we're standing in the Space Command exhibit. This is an exhibition that gives people an opportunity to learn some about space exploration learn about space science of the nearby solar system and planets. My personal favorite exhibit here at the Franklin Institute is electricity. Favorite of favorites, of course, is the giant walk-through heart. How many people can say that they've actually had a chance to walk through a human heart the size of which might be found in a 60-foot tall person? The heart is really big and giant. It's not just a museum where you just walk around and view things on the wall. I get to physically manipulate it and touch it with my hands. It's an overall educational experience that's fun and exciting. Coming in June to the Franklin Institute, it's the Your Brain Exhibit. Inside the brand new Nicholas and Athena Karabats Pavilion, this state-of-the-art exhibit will introduce visitors to one of the frontiers of science, the study and understanding of the human brain. Welcome to Philadelphia. Welcome to my house, the Franklin Institute Science Museum. There's plenty of outdoor art on the parkway, and one of the best places to view it is Capriccio at Cafe Cray. Relax in this beautiful setting and enjoy fresh soups, salads, or grilled panini sandwiches, along with ice cream, milkshakes, smoothies, or just sip on the great selection of fair trade organic coffees or teas. Open until early evening. You'll find Capriccio at Cafe Cray at 16th Street and the Parkway. Eastern State Penitentiary is historically significant, mainly because of its design as well as the system that was in place here when it first opened in the early 1800s. In America, we don't have many ruins, but Eastern State is truly a ruin. And you look into the cells and you get the sense it's just a minute ago there was a prisoner inside of that cell. Well, the most famous inmate who was ever here is definitely Al Capone, a famous gangster from Chicago. Another famous inmate was Slick Willie Sutton. He was here in the 1930s and 40s. Most visitors who come to Eastern State take an audio tour. It's narrated by the actor Steve Buscemi, and it incorporates the real voices of 23 former inmates, former officers, three different wardens. The hands-on history program that we have is a series of short tours that usually allow visitors to gain access to a part of the prison that they can't normally see, like the operating room or Soup Alley, the area back in the kitchens where the inmates would receive their meals each day. 
Her Behind the Walls is a massive haunted house that takes over the penitentiary every fall. It's the primary fundraiser for the historic site, and people who go through really have a good time getting scared or watching their friends get scared. Ah! Oh my god! If someone's looking to visit some different attractions in Philadelphia, I would say the Eastern State is a good one because it's off the beaten path. The Eastern State Penitentiary will be one of the most photogenic places you'll ever be in your life. Don't forget your camera. If you are in Philadelphia, even only for a short time, you should definitely come check out Eastern State because there's nothing else like it. When you go back to where you're from, all of your friends are going to be really jealous that you saw this place. This has been just a quick look at the world-class attractions of the Ben Franklin Parkway. Judy, please tell us how we can learn more. Absolutely. Well, the best source of information is our website, which is parkwaymuseumsdistrict.org. Don't forget the S. At that site, you'll find links to all of our institutions and hours and exhibition information and all sorts of things, even walking tours. For those staying in Philadelphia hotels, make sure that you go to your hotel concierge and look for our Parkway Museum District brochure and in the visitor centers as well. There are coupons in there, there's a map, there are all sorts of wonderful things. Oh my gosh, can't be back. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us, Judy. Thank you. Now stay tuned for more of the best of everything here on the Philadelphia Visitors Channel.